how you found today's match. I'll start with Noah Mandela. Your team came back twice and it, it looked like you you are going to get a draw today. What do you think went wrong for your side? I think uh, from the onset, uh, we got it all wrong by conceding early. I think we conceded in uh, the first minute and uh, our game plan was that uh, we could uh, get an early goal to unsettle them. But uh, I think from the onset, uh, we started to play under pressure, coming from behind. Uh, uh, the second goal also made costly mistake there, and then uh, they, they got the second. So we're always on the back foot. Uh, so that also disturbed uh, our game plan. But we tried to, to push, to come into the game. Uh, they were very aggressive in the, in the midfield, uh, in their midfield line. You could see the way they were putting pressure and uh, and settling us and uh, winning position. Uh, I think uh, that's where they dominated more, especially in the first half. But second half, we tried to reorganize and uh, uh, come into the game. But unfortunately, we considered uh, the third goal again. It was always an uphill battle. Uh, unfortunately, we wanted to get a good result today. We wanted a win for us to in enhance the chances of, of going through to the next round. But now, uh, Two games to go, and uh, it's going to be a tall order. <clears throat> Dylan, you've done a double on uh, young Africans. What does this mean for your team? Well, it's, it was going to be tough, and in the first half, we could have scored seven goals, and that's been the typical of our season, really. We don't. We score in the first minute, then we think, you know, we'll, we'll, we're just going to have to walk for the ball in the net instead of like taking our chances. And it's, at half time, I said to the guys, you can't, at 2 0 up, you need to, the third goal to kill the game off. Or if they get a goal, they come back into it. And we switched off from the cross. We got the third goal from, the, from our corner. And then I'm not blaming Bonnie as much. Yes, he made a mistake, our goalkeeper. But you've got to react from that. And we didn't react from that. They did. And they scored and they, they put us under pressure for the last 10, 10 15 minutes. But all in all, I thought our football was superb, in the, especially in the first half, the way we played. And it's, it's always tough when you come to Dar es Salaam. It's always tough to play against your neighbours. So, obviously, I'm delighted with the win. Uh, the three points is very healthy for us. But, you know, also with our fixture congestion as well, you can see we've, we've got some tired legs out there because Yanga in the second half, they had nothing to lose and they upped the tempo. And just like I said, two mistakes, as their coach says, mistakes cost you points in Koshi games. F luckily enough for us, we had the three goals and we, we threw to our next game against Rayon Sports at home in Nairobi. I'll now give a chance to the press to ask some follow-up questions. May you please <coughs> tell us your full names and the media house you are coming from. And with you, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Noel, four games, one draw, three losses, win none. How do you see the squad that you have qualified for this? Well, I think uh, if you've been following our team, uh, we, have had, uh, we have had a lot of challenges, and uh, we're, we're just trying to reorganize and uh, trying to manage the squad and also the games. Uh, if you look at the levels of fitness in the, in the squad, they are, not, they are not the same because of the problems we've had, players uh, reported late for training because of one or two issues, contractual issues. So I'm sure maybe in the next uh, two weeks, the team in terms of fitness level, it being uh, partly pre-season, I think we'll be at a level where at least we we'll, would we'll say that the team is ready for, for, the, for the next game and also for the season. Because some players who, who have played today they only had maybe about 10 days of training. Others have had four weeks of training. So it becomes very difficult uh, to have an imbalance in terms of fitness. But uh, you, you cannot say we won't play a game. You have to come up with a squad and you have to, to, to play and you have to compete to try and win the game. And if it fails, if you gave it uh, everything you had to, to do and uh, you couldn't win, then it's tough luck. Another question? Let's take another question. Yes, sir. Mr. Jerry, your team performance came and out to a very good. 
you see that the team come in this East Africa country to stop your team? What I've said to the players now, it's I've known Gore Meyer since 2014, actually a lot, maybe 2012, when uh, my former manager Bobby Williamson took over, so I know about Gore Meyer. And they're very successful in Kenya. And this gives them a stage, this gives them a platform to actually put them on the map in Africa. And sometimes, you know, their, their ambitions, you know, I want them to match my ambitions. I want them to be the best in Africa. And you're only going to be that if you start playing competitions like the Confederations and the Champions League of CAF. And now we've got an opportunity with the next game at home to cement our place in the quarter-finals and then, then it's, it's game on then. But, you know, you've got to set ambitions in life. You know, the coach, the coach is just saying about players not being fit. Football now, you, you, you've, got, you've got no excuse. It's your job. You have got to be fit 12 months of the year. There's no excuse. Contracts should be sorted. They, they shouldn't have that problem. You know, you, you, you're performing against the best, you're competing against the best, so you have to be at your best. And that, that's, that's African football. You know, if you look down the line, it's always uh, Southern Africa, North Africa, West Africa that the teams are, you know, the strongest. You know, East Africa need, has got a strong football community. We need to get better as a group as, as in Kenya and as in Tanzania to, to make people see that we're a good footballing country. And, all we can do is keep trying and keep working hard and keep getting the players motivated to keep winning and keep doing the best. Another question? Any other question? Yes, sir. Coach, my name is George Omani from Belgium. Coach, congratulations for the win. My question is, now that you have one foot in the quarters, and you have three matches in hand back at home in the game, yeah. You have the pressure of uh, winning a region, but uh, you are also concentrated on the cup considerations. What's your thought for you? Because you have too much to hand, and uh, you have to take your support every now and then. What's your thought for you? We're just going to be doing the same. You know, I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm quite lucky we've got a, a healthy squad. Wendo is nearly back, Kareem is back, Wellington's back. So it gives me more options because Philemon Otieno has been playing right back for me in CAF. So now that um, Kareem and Wellington are back, it gives me a bit more options at full back. Uh, I think we lost shape a bit in, uh, today in the second half in the midfield, whether it's tiredness, whether it's fatigue, whether it's you know, the, a, a cumul culmination of a lot of things. But we've just got to keep progressing the way we have doing. We've just got to take one game at a time. We'll not concentrate on confederations until it comes. We've now got to concentrate on going to Kisumu on Wednesday to play Karibangi Sharks and we'll take that game the next one and then we'll look forward to the following game against Nakamat in Machakos. So it's tough. We've got a tough schedule, very tough schedule, but you know, I've just got to trust my players to live right, eat right, sleep right and, and do the right thing for Gormaya. Take another question. No, he, he made a move. He made a move, and the ball went behind him. And as he as he put his foot down, he felt a, he felt a little twinge in his in, right behind his knee. It was like not not his hamstring, not his calf. So it's just a, it's just a little twinge. So we just you know just precaution, you know, because a little injury could if he if he lasts five more minutes, then it might be a big big problem for us. But you know, Jack's a professional, and he knows that you know he's right. It's the right timing to come off where other players they'll they'll continue even though you know they want they don't want to be substituted but they'll continue and it'll it'll be bad for us and it'll be bad for them fitness wise but no Jacks Jacks will be okay. We'll we'll we'll, main, we'll maintain Jacks. Any other question? Any other questions? No, I think we're something. done. Something. to say something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just uh, closing remarks. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, one thing uh, we should understand as uh, Tanzanians: when any club is playing in the CAF competitions, they're representing the country. So everyone should rally behind the team. Yes, I know there's the rivalry of Simba Yanga. That's no problem. If the fans are cheering the other team, it's no problem. But we expect uh, full support, even from TFF. 
It's unfortunate what happened yesterday. They got six of our national team players for photo session from 14 hours in the afternoon until after midnight. That's when those re uh, players reported back to, to camp. You cannot. They know we have an important game the following day. How do you do that? Why they couldn't wait for Monday? What about the other players who are not even in the country? Azama in Uganda, uh, Simba is in Turkey. Where are the national team players? What was the rush? Do we want a younger Tanzanian football to move forward, or we, we, we want to get the, uh, the players tired so that they don't perform to their maximum? It was unfortunate. It was unfortunate. And uh, it's unfortunate that it's happening when you've got a very important game, a day before a very important game, from 14 hours in the afternoon to after midnight, 0-1, photo session, national team players, the players that you treasure the most. It's unfortunate. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, that issue is, uh, is a cause of to lose the game of today. I was just highlighting. If you heard me, I say it's unfortunate because any team which is representing the nation, you know what players should, how players should rest before an important game. They, they are from no, they are from training. Yes. We trained in the morning. Yeah. Instead of them resting, then they came for 40, but from 14 hours yes. to zero one. Yeah. So you, even you yourself, how many hours of sleep should you have? Ten. No. And you just use your yes. pain and your brain. But then they use the body. It's their pain. So if, if the body does not rest, how, how will it uh, uh, do the work? They will work, but not to their maximum, not to their potential, full potential. Yes. Thank it's you, Coach. Concentration. Okay. Thank okay. you, Coach. So on that note, uh, we'll come to the end of this post-match press conference. Thank you all for coming. All the best. <coughs> Thank you, guys. Well, Coach, okay. you're right, by the way. I believe you, but I saw you. You told me we'll finish at midnight.